Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the Event Emitter API. And today we'll focus on uh, the function uh, Remove All Listeners. Now, there's a couple ways you can use this function. And uh, you can use it without any arguments. And what it will do, it will, any listener that was listening to any event being emitted by that emitter will just simply not fire anymore. Okay, so. Uh, the event, uh, you could still be emitting that event, but the, the listeners that were listening uh, to that event after this call to remove all listeners, uh, they will no longer be listening. Okay, so the other way is to provide an event name. And so what this will do is uh, all the listeners that were listening for that particular event will be removed. That event could still be emitted but it will no longer be listened to after a call to this uh, function. Okay, so what I have here is uh, the same as we've seen before. I'm getting the event emitter object from the events module. I'm creating a class uh, that extends that object. And here I have uh, uh, an instance that I'll be using throughout the, uh, throughout the uh, program here. Uh, you can see here I'm listening for the data event uh, with a couple of functions. So there are two listeners for this event. Uh, one is just uh, getting the argument provided and printing it to the console. And here I'm listening to the, to the message event and just printing a message event as occurred. Uh, on the data, I'm also printing a data event as occurred. And here, uh, I have an interval that uh, just uh, uh, cycles every second. And I'm emitting uh, the message event and the data event and providing uh, some data here. All right, so what we expect from this is every second, we should get uh, all three of these functions uh, fired. And we'll get uh, data event occur, message event occurred, and we'll also get uh, the data printed to the console with some colors. All right, let's go ahead and run this and see what we get and make sure we are on the same page. All right, so every second uh, we are getting that data here. All right, so let's stop this right now. Now, let's go ahead and use and use the this form of the function, remove all listeners without any argument. Okay, so one nice way of doing this uh, is to set an interval. So let's set an interval that will fire at uh, after five seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Actually set uh, set timeout, I meant. Okay, set timeout. Let's get our function. Okay, uh, what do I want to do? I want to remove all the listeners. Okay, remove all listeners. We don't pass any arguments. And uh, how long do we want to do that? We want to do it at the five second point. Okay, so what we expect here is at the five second mark, although the, ev the events will be fired, will no longer listen so our functions will no longer be fired. Okay, you can see here, after five, after five prints, so one, two, three, four, actually after four, uh, at the fifth second point, uh, we don't get any more of these uh, printed. That means our functions are no longer firing, although uh, this is still going and the events are still being emitted. Okay, so the other way uh, to to call this function is by pro providing an event name. So let's go ahead and provide data here. So we're listening to data in two of our listeners. Uh, so these are these two right here. One is printing the data, the other one is printing a message. Okay, so what we expect after doing this is for these functions to no longer be ran and uh, only the message event uh, will be listened to. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, now we're getting everything. 
and after the five seconds we're just going to get the message event and you can already imagine if we do the other way around by just uh, removing the message okay what we're going to get is the data event will the data functions will still go on while the message uh, uh, will not okay so you can see that's what happened here all right so this is how you use the remove or listeners function uh, one way is to not provide any arguments in which case all of the listeners that were listening to any event on that uh, uh, emitter uh, will just no longer be fired and the other way is to provide uh, data I mean a name uh, a name for the event we'd like to stop listening for and then what it will do is just uh, remove all of these listeners from that emitter and they will no longer be fired when that event occurs all right guys so this is uh, duly again uh, please subscribe uh, to the channel so you can uh, get more uh, of these videos uh, hit the like button if you like the videos and if you've got questions go ahead and ask me in the comment section and I'll see you next time